Here's uh, Peter Ducey from Fox asking Kirby once again, here's Kirby again, if Putin and Xi fear Joe Biden. Russia and China, it seems like this, uh, these two superpowers are teaming up now against the US. Why did President Biden let this happen? Peter, these are two countries that have long chafed, as I said to Jeff, long chafed um, at U.S. leadership around the world um, and uh, and the network of alliances and partnerships that we have. This is not this is not something that uh, these two countries just cooked up since President Biden got elected. But, but it is he, something that they have been since trying he's been to. president. He has talked tough. He tried to pressure Putin and Xi. Uh, to act right or risk their standing on the world stage? Does he see now that they don't care? I think if you ask a lot of Russians, they certainly care. I mean, this, the, their economy is, is uh, barely being propped up by some pretty radical measures by, by Mr. Putin. Their military has uh, been uh, roundly embarrassed inside Ukraine, um, and they continue to lose uh, uh, ground there. Do you think that Putin and Xi fear President Biden? You'd have to ask them whether, whether they fear or, or, or they Should not. They? It is not about fear. It's Should. about President Biden advancing our foreign policy goals around the world. It's about President Biden revitalizing these alliances and partnerships. It's about President Biden and what he's doing to preserve our national security interests around the world. That's what we're focused on. It's just meaningless drivel. If they fear you, they might actually do some of the things you want. It's not about fear. It's about President Biden making sure he can put his shoes on, which I'm pretty sure he can't even do that. It just endlessly, every, every that's what I'm trying to show you guys. At every level of this government, whether I'm showing you things from Corinne Jean-Pierre or we're showing you Janet Yellen or we're showing you John Kirby or we're showing you Mayorkas at the border, Every single one of these people is unqualified to do their job. So we'll get into the 2024 thing in a second, but whether you like Trump or you like DeSantis or you like Nikki Haley or Vivek, you must vote for these people. You must support these people. We have to remove this administration that is actively destroying our country basically at every possible turn.